Hey, it's Pastor Rick. You ever know somebody that's always saying what they can't do? Can't do, can't do, can't do, can't do. Well, Moses is that kind of guy. He's in the I can'ts, and he's struggling with after all the things God's shown him, tried to talk to him. You ever had somebody you talked to, you gave them miracles, gave them money, gave them miracles, right? You miraculously paid off their rent, or you miraculously did something for them that they couldn't do on their own. Well, Moses has had this kind of encounter with God, and in chapter 4, verse 10, he has a meltdown, like a real meltdown down, to the ground, down, meltdown. And what he starts saying is, I can't, I just can't, I just can't, I just can't, I'm not, I'm not able. Listen, listen, listen to this meltdown, it's amazing. Chapter 4, verse 10 of Exodus. Then Moses said to the Lord, after, you know, God asking him to go in front of Pharaoh, Oh Lord, my, I am not eloquent, neither before nor since. You've spoken to your servant, but I am slow of speech and slow of tongue, so the Lord said to him, what? I mean, <laughs> somebody said, that's not in there. It is. Listen, listen, listen. He says all the things he can't do. I'm not eloquent. I can't speak. I've never been eloquent. I know, you know, since you, look, I'm not the guy. You, can, you want to send me to confront Pharaoh? I just can't, you know. Do you know anybody like this? I can't, I just can't, I can't, oh, I can't, I can't. You're just, you look at me, you're a can't, I can't person. And you're just writing on your head, I can't, right? You know, then God says to him, he says, okay, I can't speak, I'm not eloquent. And the Lord said something was so profound to him. Look what he said to him in verse 11. The Lord said to him, Who made? who's made man's mouth? Who made your mouth? Who made your mouth? I made your mouth. Or who, who made the mute? Who makes the mute or the deaf, the seeing and the blind? Have not I the Lord? Now, this is, this, there's a lesson here for you. I made everybody. And I didn't give everybody the same gift either. I didn't give the deaf the same gift. I didn't give everybody the ability to hear and see. I, I didn't give everybody the same gift. Now, you may not like that, but that's what he said. I did. I made everybody. Now, I can I can help you speak. If I want you to speak, I can do something. You'll be, you'll be a talking machine. I made your mouth. Don't tell me about your mouth. I made you. I know all about you. That's what he's saying. I made this car. All right. Strong word. Watch what happens. So he goes on, and this conversation gets more interesting. He says, um... Verse um, 12, now therefore go and I will be with your mouth and I'll teach you what you shall say in the conversation. Supposedly, the end of conversation. And here's the two lessons. You're not going alone. I know you don't know what to say. I'll tell you what to say. I'll teach you what to say. I'll show you how to work it out. I know you don't know. It's okay that you don't know everything. So, you know, it's really okay that you don't know how to pastor yet, or you don't know how to be a wife yet, or you don't know how to be a business yet. It's okay. If you allow God to bring the right information to your life, he'll teach you, he'll show you, he'll guide you. You don't need to be afraid of everything. Stop talking about what you can't do. I can't. He knows what you can't do before he sent, before he called you. I didn't know how to do this. I didn't know how to do this at all. But he brought me in the into an environment where I learned. Sent me to a great school. Gave me some great opportunities. Put me around some great people. Showed me some great models. And I'm still learning today. I learn every day. Every week's a learning week for me. I'm always trying to get better at it. Because it's a truly an art you have to work at. But I don't want to go around being an I can't guy. Are you an I can't woman? I can't, I can't, I can't. You know, the Bible said, according to your faith, so be it unto you. I wonder if where you are in life is because you believed yourself there. Let me say that again. I wonder if where you are in life right now, your checkbook, look at it, all the things, okay, you look in your account, not your checkbook anymore, right? I wonder if that's a reflection of what you believed. So why don't you change what you believe? Stop being an I can't and say I can. Okay? One step at a time. Let me pray for you. Father, let this be the I can moment, the I will try, I will do it moment, I will try moment in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, listen, thank you for being with me today. Get the app. I say it every day. The app is amazing. Put all this stuff right there for you in one place. You can get it. I will be coming by Faith Ministries app. 
It's really cool and you can share it with your friends. Gotta go. Stay sharp. See you next time. Bye-bye.